Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! And yeah, this morning I just did a tutorial and this evening I decided that I want to make another tutorial <laughs> because I felt like the first tutorial that I did this morning was quite easy and um, yeah, I just wanted to do uh, more paintings <laughs> no questions right okay so today i decided to i mean tonight i decided to i mean for tonight i decided to do an owl because i really like owls especially their eyes <laughs> and yeah so today we'll be painting an owl and let me tell you the colors that i'll be using for today's painting of course we have tons of titanium white we have black, um, yellow ochre, vermilion, lemon yellow, and yeah, that's basically it. So let's begin now, guys. I'm gonna do first, oh, sorry, wrong brush. <laughs> I'm gonna do first the black areas in this painting. So I'm gonna get my black now immediately, guys. I'm just gonna start with the eye of, an, of the owl. We make mistakes it's fine because we're gonna cover it later anyway all right this one to extend it make it quite bigger Okay, so we have two circles now. So I'm gonna color the nose now. Oh no, no, not the nose. <laughs> this is not the nose. <laughs> this is actually the beak. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> So this is not the nose, guys. <laughs> I can't move on, right? <laughs> okay, like that. Alright, so I'm gonna get my black now and water it down and spread some black um, paints on the like the head of our of our owl just like this right quite loose mm. as you know when I do my initial stage of the painting it's quite loose it's not very strict you know okay here I only get stricter stricter when I do the highlights and details but when it comes to underpainting I'm quite loose about it quite for um what do you call this I really don't mind you know um, uh, painting it loosely in fact I kind of like it <laughs> okay I'm gonna use my black now here okay like that okay also here okay 
like that. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to water it down, my black still, and apply it here like that. This way, guys. Also here. Um, I've actually changed my painting um, schedule at home because um, I'm now reporting uh, to work, so <laughs> I have a different uh, schedule now. But um, this is no different from my schedule when I was still in South Korea because I usually paint after office. Now it's like after office, so okay. Okay, so just continue doing some um, black strokes here and there, like this. Do this way. Okay. Dry brushing, guys. Dry brushing. Okay, like that. So imagine that we are just playing. We're just playing, okay, so that you don't get, <laughs> you don't get, um, what they call this, overwhelmed. So I'm gonna grade this part, the middle of the, the, the eye, I mean the middle, or in between the eyes. All right, here as well. All right, and then do the same thing here. Okay, dry brush, guys. So, dry brushing. Do it this way. I know um, it may not, uh, you may ask like, why is, he, is she doing that? <laughs> Okay, this is my style, guys. This is my own style. If you have your own style in underpainting it, you can go and just, you know, do it your way. Doesn't matter. As long as you underpaint it, because, you know, the painting needs underpainting. The way I see it, because it has a lot of feathers. So by underpainting it, you can already see the face of our, of our owl. <laughs> All right, like this. Also here, guys, just underpaint it by dry brushing it black. Okay, it might be too black, but it's okay. This way, I become not fast because, you know, uh, I identify already where the dark portion is. Okay, basically like that. <laughs> okay, also here. There's no particular pattern. Okay, like that. Mm. Right. <laughs> okay, this part is the wing. So I'm gonna make some black and white. Okay, black and white, guys. So, so it's like gray, you know. Um, then I'm gonna add some burnt umber and maybe a tiny bit of yellow. Okay. Okay, like this color. So, all right, this color. So it's the com it's a combination of 
yellow ochre, black, white, and burnt umber, guys. Like this. Get your, uh, get a new brush, okay? Get a clean brush, I mean, not a new brush. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get my vermilion, okay? Vermilion, and then apply it here around the eye. Here as well. Mm, it's okay if you can see some black paint mixing. It's all right. We will fix that. Don't panic, guys. <laughs> Don't freak out. Mm, okay. Okay. Well, just continue. like that and then here as well mm. okay. like this you know guys when I'm painting I don't I, I don't feel tired at all I don't know why Maybe because I really like it. I really like it. I really like doing it. Mm, all right, like that. <laughs> okay, get your black. Just pure black, guys. Pure black. Mm, okay, and then just go around it. Outline it, outline the eye portion. Hmm, like that. Get your black. Hmm. like that <laughs> okay I'm gonna make some oh my god that sound again I think they know when I'm painting no <laughs> they kind of sense it <laughs> right I'm just making some dark or I mean depths Depth. Hmm. Okay, like this. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna continue the head part like that. Then you can dab in some black like this. Mm. Like that. Okay. 
can wash your brush out. Wash your brush out, guys. Okay, and now, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna make some brown color. Brownie color. Oh, wait, 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 sorry, guys. But while our, I, while our brush is still clean, I'm just gonna go and highlight the eye portion. Like this. Okay, and then try to blend, guys. Okay, you can use extra water just to you know smoothly apply it okay. all right like that and here as well Okay, it's okay guys. Hmm. The black's still wet, that's why. Okay, anyway, um just gonna try to remove that using cloth. Okay, and then we can go back and fix it. Okay. And get your yellows. Mm. Okay, like that. Okay, we're gonna highlight it even more later. Okay, but for now we're gonna leave it dry, just like that, and then. You can use another brush. I'm just gonna use another brush for the feathers. I'm gonna get my white and my black to make some light gray color. Okay, make it even more gray like this color. All right, and then let's begin do the, uh, let's begin doing the feathers now. Okay, for the feather for the feathers, you can actually just dab in some paints like this, or you can make some short strokes. Like that. Okay. Make some feather like strokes, guys. Feather like strokes. <laughs> okay, just dab in. Okay. Right, like that. Here as well. like that mm -hmm. okay here you can use brighter white All right. here as well All right All right okay now we're gonna make some brownie color I'm gonna get my vermilion because I actually ran out of burnt sienna and then I'm gonna get actually I have burnt sienna but it's more of a red shade so I'm just gonna get my yellow and orange and then black like this color and then some yellow ochre okay like this color yeah I like it okay more yellow and then white like that and then black 
So yeah, I like this color, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna make some detailing now. So again, the stroke should be like brush-like. Uh, I'm sorry, not, not brush-like, feather-like. <laughs> okay, like that. Okay. Mm. It really doesn't matter now, I mean right now, as long as uh, we keep on, um, what do you call this? Layering, layering. So layering, guys. <laughs> Here as well. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, like here. Also here, brownie color. Oh my god, it's looking like a bird. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna apply it. Again, that technique is quite like dry brushing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add white. White color. Yeah, like that. Like there. Mm. All right. Here. Here as well. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay, what should we shout? Gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to finish this. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna change my brush now just for the feathers because my other brush is quite contaminated. <laughs> I'm gonna use a shorter brush. I'm gonna get my white now and um, just create, again, feather-like um, strokes. And we're still dry brushing, guys. Dry brushing is, of course, from the word itself, dry, <laughs> meaning you don't actually wet the brush or dip it in water. And dry brushing creates some texture uh, that is good for seascapes as well. Seascapes and foliage and feathers, yeah. That's actually applicable for those kind of paintings or subjects. All right, so just again, dry brush. Hmm. So I'm just creating some mm, feather-like uh, feather -like strokes in here as well. Okay, I'm gonna use my brush to mix it with the brownie color that I have and start doing some um, dry strokes. quite challenging because um, it's so hard to grab the paint when I'm using a shorter brush shorter meaning the, the, the hair is quite short not the length of the, the handle of course okay, 
like this. Okay, so I'm just doing this, guys. I'm still using the brownie color and just adding white to it. And just keep on layering, guys. Keep on layering. Don't stop. <laughs> Okay. So I'm just going to dab in some more details on the forehead. Can I just call it forehead? <laughs> because, yeah, it's the forehead, right? <laughs> like this. Mm. Okay, like that. <laughs> same same procedure here just mm, do this do this dry strokes you can actually hear the 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 sound that it creates when I do the strokes Very ASMR-ish, right? <laughs> okay, like that. Mm. Just do this, guys. I'm quite enjoying it, though. Okay, you can also dab in some of the paints so that, you know, it's not just it's not just uh, one kind of feathers. There will be some um, short feathers, long feathers, folded, and <laughs> like that. Okay. Like this. So I'm gonna use now my yellow ochre, just yellow guys, yellow ochre I mean, and try to, yeah, like that. Also dry brush guys, dry brush, here, you can mix your yellow ochre with some burnt umber, just to, you know, make it quite dark. Like this. Okay, just use burnt umber now. I'm just using burnt umber, guys. Whoops. That's a lot. That's a lot. Oops. All right, same here. Mm, okay, like that. This is just burnt umber, guys. Okay, you can wash your brush out. Wash your brush out. Okay, get some black. Get some black. And again, dry brush using black. Like that. And here, mm, 
Mm, like that. Okay, I'm gonna make some more detailing here. So I'm just gonna water down my black. Okay, water down my black, guys. And dab. Just to create some natural depth and shadows here. So, like that. Mm -hmm. Cute. Also here. And here. Mm. like that mm. also here all right push up, push up. okay I'm gonna make so oh I'm gonna make some details on the feathers remember this mixture that we had I'm gonna add some white to it. Okay, more white like that. It's more of apricot color. Okay, I don't have my apricot because I actually included my paint, some of my paints in my shipment, guys. Okay, like that. I'm gonna add darker, darker color here. Like that. All right. Here, right here. Mm. Okay. that okay I'm gonna get my white I'm gonna add it here okay and then I'm just gonna close the head like that Wash your brush out. All right, so let me get some white now. I'm just gonna dab in some white, white paint here. Okay, like that. As well in here okay make some white markings here up here like that I'm sorry okay like this Okay, here as well. It's nice. Okay, we're gonna add some highlight to the eye. Okay, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my lemon yellow. So yeah, or medium yellow, you can also get that. Alright. So make sure you have a clean brush that's yellow and I'm gonna add vermilion okay add vermilion more like this color now 
and because it's quite dry so I hope the black paint won't mix anymore hmm all right let's be careful anyway so okay like that Hmm. Yeah, this is way better. Okay. Like that. Okay. <laughs> All right, like that. I'm just adding some orange. To the left eye okay now I'm gonna get some white guys pure white pure white <laughs> oh not not really not pure white guys make some gray color okay this color like that and here also here hmm like that okay and then around the the pupil <laughs> okay just around it. Mm. Okay, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay, wash up, I'm gonna get my black now. Just make more detailing here. Get some black. We're now doing the details, guys. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use my black paint and I'm just gonna glaze the top portion of the eye like that. <laughs> Same here, guys. Quite gently. Don't over or smear it <sighs> like that. Hmm. Okay, and then here as well. Hmm. Okay, like that. Then we're gonna highlight it later because I covered everything. And then I'm gonna add more details here. And then, and then just dab, guys, so that it's it's more natural looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. Okay, this looks nice. I'm gonna color the background. Um, I'm sorry. I'm gonna color the top portion of the owl like gray color. Like that. 
gray guys gray okay and mm -hmm, I'm gonna gray this this area all right I'm gonna color the background black Okay, I'm just using my my hands directly because um, it's quite easy for me to spread the paint or to evenly distribute it on the canvas. All right. Okay, get some more. Okay, I'm gonna um, mix this with um, yellow so that it, we make green color like this did you know that you can make green out of black and yellow try it guys okay Just spread it evenly on the canvas. Right, and then get some black. The top portion or the, the, the background is black. Right. And again here it's quite greeny. Oh sorry, sorry guys, sorry guys. black all right like that wash your brush out okay I'm gonna use this mixture the apricot mixture that we um, we resulted in when we mix Mm, yellow ochre, burnt umber, and orange and yellow. So this is what we got. So I'm just gonna use that for this portion. Maybe I'm gonna add some yellow to it. Like that. Okay. And here as well. Mm, still wet though. It's still wet. Sorry guys, it's still wet. Okay. Now I'm gonna use that mixture mixed with a lot of white. Let's see if this is gonna work. Oh, yeah, okay. So like this. Okay, I'm gonna get my Y just to highlight. Okay, like that. <laughs> I'm going to get my pure white. Let's go back now to the eye and paint over the gray area and some white here. 
some white here and then some white here like that hmm. also here make some white markings okay like that and then here my fork <laughs> I'm gonna use my fork because I don't have palette knife right now okay because I'm still waiting for my shipment guys <laughs> I'm just gonna use that to create more um, a feather like texture here like that like that so I'm using the um, the head the head said the head i want to call it the head the head of the fork the fork <laughs> okay okay i'm gonna use the side of the fork like this mm -hmm. all right and then let's go to the right side hmm. like that So we're just making natural um, fur-like strokes. Uh, no, 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 no. Feather-like strokes, not fur. Mm. Okay, and make some random white markings here using your fork. If you don't have your fork, <laughs> I don't know who doesn't have a fork here, but as an alternative to this, you can actually use your palette knife. <laughs> If you're in the studio, if you have the right materials with you, you can actually use it. Me, I'm just using this as an alternative because I don't have my palette knife with me. I miss my painting stuff, guys. I hope they arrive soon, guys. I hope. Okay, anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's continue. Okay. Let's extend the feathers. I'm gonna get some brownie color here I'm gonna use my fork here mm. so it's very textured because we are using um, uh, something that uh, an alternative to palette knife as to me, it is an alternative. Okay, I'm gonna get my black, guys. Black! And go back. Go back to detailing. Mm -hmm. like that. that Okay, push up, push out. No, hmm. oh, it looks nice. I'm gonna get my white now. And let's highlight the, again, this is not the nose. <laughs> this is the beak. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's create some more. <laughs> some more highlights, I mean. Okay, I'm going to use my white now. I'm going to water it down. Oops, sorry. And apply it here, like that. And gently highlight the beak again, not the nose, guys. It's like gray color. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like that. Okay. Get some more gray color. Gray color. All right, and then get some black, guys. Okay. Okay, wash your brush up. Get your shorter brush for fur. I mean, for feathers. Add some more details. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Dab in here, white and like this color. Oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> okay, get some black color. Here. Just make it a little gray. Okay, get some white guys. White just to make some brighter highlights here. And then get some black. Oops, that's too much I guess. That. Mm. Okay. 
like this. Oops. And get some lighter color here. white I'm just applying white here okay. okay I'm gonna get some black color and again just dry brushing guys okay this is good right this is good okay I'm gonna get my black just to darken this a bit This is nice. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna glaze that part with white. Okay, slightly, guys, because it's still wet. So just slight, guys, slight. So I'm glazing it, guys, like so. Mm -hmm. like that just glaze guys and my application is so light <laughs> okay also here in here mm -hmm. you see that I actually okay gonna dab again Wait, guys, I'm gonna get some pure white. Okay, like that. And some black. nice I have to sign it now guys I'm gonna sign it here oh wait guys wait let's make some highlights on the feathers I'm just using gray all right so I'm just gonna make more gray this time here Let's darken the wing. Like that. Okay, like this. Okay, I'm gonna get some more black. Let's just separate the wing from the face. All right, that's good. Okay, <laughs> this is nice. Okay, I have to sign it now. 
I have to sign it now, guys. Okay, I think I have to sign, I don't know where. Hmm, maybe here? Okay, maybe here. I'm just gonna use my black here. All right, like that. Just gonna use J and then N. Yes, we're done, guys. We're done. <laughs> this is nice. Are we done? Not yet, guys. Sorry. <sighs> okay, sorry, guys. I'm just adding more feathers. Okay, make some more brown. that and gonna make some more this is just like um, yellow ochre plus orange or if you have um, burnt sienna just add white because I don't have my burnt sienna okay I'm just gonna dab dab Also here, like that. I'm just glazing, guys. Look at look at how I apply it. Mm. All right. Okay, here. This is so nice. Okay. <laughs> guys, we're done now. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you do my owl as well. And when you do, please share it with me. And please let me know, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. Mm, wait. <laughs> wait, guys. Sorry. Sorry. I <laughs> mean, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Mm hmm. I overglazed, that's why I removed some details. And again, I'm gonna get my white or gray. And let's make some more feathers. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Pure white. Mm. Okay. <laughs> One last. Okay, get some pure white, guys. Okay.
Okay. Yes, this is it. Guess we're done. Okay. Yay, we're done guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I enjoyed this one a lot. And doing two tutorials in one day, I really don't mind because I love painting. So <laughs> yeah, our owl is so pretty, right? <laughs> okay, so guys, guys. <laughs> thanks for watching guys, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love you!